Sophie Laplante joined a strange new class 16 years ago. That was the family I had. Few people understood it. Oh my god, it was a joke. <laughs> Almost nobody knew what it was, let alone how to pronounce the name. Capoeira? Capoeira was a hidden art developed by African slaves in Brazil as self-defense against their enemies. For me, I think they use capoeira as a form of liberation. They practice how to fight by camouflaging the moves in a dance influenced by African and Brazilian native traditions. Nowadays, there are two main styles, regional and Angola. Sophie got so hooked when she started, she had dreams about it. Well, I still dream about capoeira. And her dream was to learn more. But the sport was so new, there were no local experts to turn to. That was a huge frustration. We were thirsty, <laughs> very much. That's when she met Colette, an older student who also saw the need and had the same dream. She embraced it and she took the load. I don't think she knew up to what extent it was. Hi, hi, <laughs> Colette just wanted to stay fit and had begun capoeira four years before in 1990 at age 34, much older than most other students. And even though the start was, well, less than stellar. I was the worst of the class. That didn't bother her at all. Instead, she became so involved in those early days that she began to take on a leading role in her group. I was a more uh, disciplined one, you know. I always have my routine, I start, and I, I start I do one hour without stopping, so people start to put themselves behind me. And she persevered and improved. She pushed to develop the sport, and with Sophie's help, invited Brazilian capoeira masters to Montreal year after year. She even switched styles from capoeira regional to capoeira angola. That leadership and experience were recognized in a big way in 2004. When I got it, I didn't know I will get it. It was a real, real surprise for me. Her Brazilian master promoted her, making her perhaps the first and only Canadian woman with such a high rank in capoeira. I'm a contramestre. <laughs> contramestre is just one level below full mestre or master. It's awarded usually after many years of training. So it's remarkable that Colette received hers after only 15 years of training. And there's more. The 15 years old, 55 years old a woman. And if that doesn't impress you, consider that at her age, she is one of the oldest women doing capoeira in Canada. For sure it's not a lot. And I never meet woman of my age practicing. Colette has a theory for why that is and for maybe why there aren't more women in Canada with her rank. It's something she's witnessed even among her students. Woman as kid and after a kid, the men still training, the woman most of the time give up, you know. And it's even true for her friend Sophie when she had kids. Now I had another family and I said, you know, I need to invest time to make things work and proper for the kids. So she chose to take a break from her capoeira family. I think having family is, um, is a little more difficult, yeah. Well, that's one issue that Colette didn't have to deal with. I have no kids, <laughs> so no husband, no kids, no boss, I'm free. <laughs> and she's happy. Her students are her family, she says, a substitute maybe for something she lost long ago. I have no family. I lost my father, I was five, and my mom, I was 15. My sister, I was 34 when she died. So uh, Capua for me is all my family, you know. So she shares her passion with her new family until her master decides it's time for her to be his equal. For sure, I'm not ready to uh, be a master now. I don't feel like I'm ready to have that that responsibility on my shoulder. And she plans to keep playing capoeira. I hope till I die. I hope till I die. Oh, I don't know what you're <laughs>